Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 7. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 23 of Book 7. Now, in this proposition, we have two numbers, a and b, which are relatively prime, and again, that means the greatest common divisor of a and b is equal to 1. And there's another number, c, which measures a. This proposition states that if we start with these two conditions, then b and c will also be relatively prime, or again, in other words, their greatest common divisor will be equal to 1. So we are going to prove this through contradiction. So our starting conditions, a and b are relatively prime, and c measures a. Now assume that b and c are not relatively prime. In other words, there's a number d, which is not 1, which measures b and c. So d measures c, and it also measures b. Now since c measures a, and d measures c, then d also measures a. So d measures c, c measures a, and since d is measured, or c is measured by d, we can replace this one green line with these two little pink ones. So in other words, d measures a. So now we have d measures b, and it also measures a, which violates the original condition that a and b are relatively prime. So there can be no number d that measures b and c, and thus b and c are relatively prime. This doesn't work, so we're left with this condition. And thus we've satisfied this proposition, or the proof of this proposition. 